Test one, two, test one, two, three. Test one, two. And throw. A one hop throw to the right field side of first base. Now the Yankees. The national pastime went on track. Talking about baseball. Klazuski and the Bellas all take me out to the, the ball game. game. Hey, that's right, yeah. folks. To it's opening crowd. day. Baseball season is right. here, and even though it's not April 1st. Usually it's April 1st, but that's okay. It's March. We're here. Baseballs are flying around the diamond all across the United States of America. Oh, listen, I love football. I love hockey. I, I, I kind of like basketball. But baseball, baseball is the bloodline of American sports. It is America's pastime. Let's just call a spade a spade. Even though I'm a big runner, I love me some baseball. And believe it or not, believe it or not, a big, big moment is about to happen on this daily vlog. <laughs> April 11th, April 11th, mark your calendars. We will have been publishing a daily vlog for two years, straight, every single day, for two years, straight, every single day, April 11th. So, the first daily vlog, the first one, was called, and I am actually going to link to it, I will remember, is called Losing Pearls with Joe DiMaggio. But this was the book, every March slash April, I order a book from Amazon or go to a bookstore and I purchase a book on the New York Yankees. I love the Yankees. I love the New York Yankees for many reasons, which I won't get into now. But this book is the book I purchased two years ago about Joe DiMaggio, which inspired me to title the first daily vlog, Losing Pearls with Joe DiMaggio. Now you just got to go watch it to understand the whole context as to why I called the vlog, the first daily vlog, that title. So, in 2016, it was Joe DiMaggio. In 2017, it was the 1927 New York Yankees, the murderer's row of baseball, arguably the best baseball team ever assembled. It was amazing. But in 2018, we got a new book to read to kick off the baseball season because it's opening day, folks. It's opening day. All right, let me just... Ugh. Dynasty. The 1949 to 1964 New York Yankees. All right, the Yankees have won 27 world championships. Don't tell anybody. Don't want to make them feel bad. There's many reasons I love the Yankees. That's one of the reasons. But... The more important reason is that I was born and raised a Yankee fan, meaning I'm not a bandwagon fan. Back, you know, the Yankees were actually not so good in the 70s and the 80s, but in the 90s they had a resurgence, and I know they have a lot of money, a lot of people will point that out, so do a lot of other teams these days, like the Dodgers and the Red Sox and the Cubs, so we're going to get to the Cubs here in a second. The Yankees, they've been successful for decades, and now more than a century. Yes, I've been a Yankee fan for a long time. And I read the books, I do the research, I watch the documentaries. I'm not a bandwagon fan, all right? There's a lot of bandwagon Yankee fans out there. If you're winning 27 world championships over the last 100 plus years, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that just kind of latch on and say, hey, I'm a Yankee fan, but they're not really Yankee fans. Let's just call a spade a spade here, folks. So, Whenever I go to the Bronx, whenever I go to New York, I go to Yankee Stadium, pay homage, go outside, take some shots like you're seeing on your screen right now. Bonus footage, almost forgot, question of the day. Do you like baseball? A lot of people don't like baseball anymore because it's a little slower, but it's like, I feel like we need to slow life down a little bit. Slow it down, slower down. All right, who's your team? Why do you love that team? Who's your baseball team? Who are you cheering for in 2018? All right. Now the ball's over. Hit him. Hit him. Blasphemy. Blasphemy at the Demore house. <laughs> <laughs> 